Hi, my name is Anna Rodriguez. I am a hair braider from New York City, Upper West Side. I have about 20 years braiding hair. I'm self-taught. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do my intricate design as I braid. This client asked for two braids. It's called fish bones because it looks like the bones from the fish. So for this design, I start by lining it up with the nose to make sure the line is straight down the middle. So after I split the hair down the middle, I will have to split it evenly into four pieces so I can have the same design on each side. So I put gel and split it evenly, flat, flat down, just so I don't have no hair on one side that don't belong on that side, because each strand matters. For me to create the zigzag part, I will have to split one line down the middle and then make it like really sharp into the angle of a zigzag. So here I am separating the hairs. I have small pins. The small pins are for me to section out the hair and make it evenly because for integrated design, the most difficult part is starting, the beginning part. Once I get one side done, the other side is so easy for me to create because I already have the mirror that I need on the other side. So I apply the gel once I'm gonna braid it. I always start my first braid right from the headline. So this type of braid is a three strand braid and the way I braid is always underhand. Braiding underhand, it gives you an image of the braid out but it lays flat. So here I am braiding one side towards the other side so I can create the image. So this is give it an image like an eight. Here you see how my clips are coming into action and helping me out so I can create this clean parting and you are able to see the person's scalp and the lines on the braids neatly. So once I create my image in the center, I go to the sides. For me to create an integrated design, sometimes I come up with it from the top of my head or the client usually comes in with an image. And if I want, I add a little different. I put a little twist to it. I put my own twist to it. So I'm using the tip of my fingers here so I can pick up small little tiny strands of hair into the braid. It's a little difficult to braid tiny braids because I have to be very tender I have clients that are tender headed and some that are not, but I usually don't braid tight unless the customer asks for it because braiding is supposed to be a protective style. It shouldn't hurt you at all. But I usually do not pull. I pick up each strand really softly so I don't hurt my client. My client usually calls me Butterfingers. <laughs> When I switch directions in braiding, it's like the flick of my wrist. I go and I just turn my wrist into where I part the hair at. I finish one side and I create the other side exactly the same. So I will have to start the same way I started the other side from the front. Here with the comb, I'm making sure everything is lined up evenly. So I measure my comb from one side to the other side just so I can create the same braid on the other side. So the comb that I use is called the rat tail comb. It has a section in the front which makes it so easier for me to create my lines clean. This comb is like my pencil, it's like my pen. It creates the image that I have in my mind. Once I finish braiding on the scalp, I braid it almost to the end, but I leave some hair out so I can have the braid, when it's connected, thicker. So now I'm going to braid the sides of his hair. People love my art. They usually stop my clients, especially the dream. They get stopped a lot. They get questioned like where you got your hair done. And it's usually word of mouth how I find my clientele. Once I am done braiding upwards into the other side of the braids, which I was braiding downwards, I put everything together. So all the braids are coming together into one big braid. Now, as I finish this side, I am going to braid the other side into the same angle as the side that I finished. 
For me to create this intricate design, it took me about two hours to do. From one to 10 in my intricate design, it will land about eight. It's a little difficult to do, maybe because there's so many braids. This style usually lasts my clients about two weeks. Some last almost a month, but I ask them not to last longer than two weeks just so they can nurture and moisturize their hair. Once I am done with the braid, I apply a mousse for shine and hold. Then I apply the do-rag on, give it a little bit of heat just so it can lay down all the flyaways that stood up. Once I am done with the customer and the customer gets to see what I created, they just love it. They get amazed, surprised that I was able to create this intricate design and they just walk out my place so happy.